MK1 is a soft reboot of the Mortal Kombat franchise after they messed up the second time with Mortal Kombat 11. I'm hoping this one will be better, so today, let's dive into Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> The gameplay this year, they got rid of the variations and went back to all characters having all their moves like Mortal Kombat 9. The main thing added this year to the gameplay was cameo fighters, who kinda act like the assist from the tower mode from previous games, and they can also do fatalities and fatal blows. Honestly, I think they're alright, they're kind of, I kinda wish that they did a little bit more, but they're alright. The gameplay of it feels a bit better than Mortal Kombat 1. I'm gonna be completely honest, when I first played the MK1 beta, I wasn't huge on it, but I have since got used to it and kind of enjoyed it over time, so overall it's good. Now, the roster this year actually kicks ass with Rain, Smoke, Havoc, and Kenshi, and Human Reptile, let's fucking go, he's coming back after being absent for a minute. There's also characters like Tanya who don't really do stuff to a certain extent, like she's like she appears occasionally, but she doesn't really do much in the grand scheme of the story. Reiko and Rain. It makes sense for Reiko, because honestly, who really gives a fuck about Reiko? Now, let's move on to the meat and chips of this review, the story mode. <laughs> The story mode starts off with Shang Tsung basically being a fake snake oil salesman. He's not a powerful sorcerer due to Liu Kang preventing that, so he's just in the skies. He gets beat up by people and then no, no, no! Fucking Chronica returns, and I will say it, her design is better, but oh no, oh no. But if I'm being real, the story is actually really good. The story follows Liu Kang in the usual Outworld vs Earthrealm tournament, but Raiden is the champion of Earthrealm, since Liu Kang is the protector of Earthrealm now after he gave up being the keeper of time. After Raiden wins, Liu Kang gets a tip from Garrus that Shang Tsung is becoming powerful, so their plan right now is to get Shang Tsung and, and interrogate him. Sindel is the queen of Outworld, and Shao Kahn wants to take over as Khan, with Melina and Katana having a good relationship. With Melina going to be queen, but she but she has Tarkat in her piece, so she's basically on hold. So Katana takes her place in the tournament. Shang Tsung is working with Shao Kahn to take over Outworld, and also Quan Chi is there, the other evil sorcerer. The people on Earthrealm's side is Johnny Cage, a failing actor in this universe. He also has a wife in his universe, not Sonya, named Chris, and he ca she calls him out on making bad purchases, like buying Sento, which has a tie to Kenshi. Basically, Sento was a part of Kenshi's family, whose his clan is now part of the Yakuza, so he wants to get Sento back to prove that he's, he would be a good leader. But Johnny doesn't want to give Sento up because he spent 3 million on it, so they fight and then Johnny ties him up. He then gets approached by the Lin Kuei and Liu Kang, who are working together now. Also, in this universe, uh, Kwai Liang is Scorpion and Bihan is Sub-Zero in this universe. Kind of ironic in a way. But back to Johnny Cage. Johnny refuses to give Sento back throughout the story until Kenshi saves him from getting his eyes cut out. And then Johnny gives Sento to Kenshi and what she can now see via Sento, which is actually a very nice moment. Also, Baraka is a part of Earthrealm this time because Kenshi explained himself when Baraka almost killed Shang Tsung. Now, Baraka's arc is that he's the leader of the Tarkadans, people who got affected by disease. The only real new character is Madame Bo here, which she is established to have trained Raiden and Kung Lao. I really like the set for the villains here with them not knowing that they're the villains and only really Liu Kang knowing that they're villains because he's the keeper of time he's seen this before they haven't seen this before with Liu Kang wanting Xiao to be Sindel's loyal general and Shang Tsung being a less powerful sorcerer who's just a nobody with Shang Tsung actually fighting back against that fighting against Liu Kang's vision and actually wanting to become a powerful sorcerer Speaking of Xiao, before True Colors is revealed to Sindel, Khan keeps pushing to go to war with Earthrealm because of Quan Chi's prophecy that Earthrealm will betray them and take over Outworld. With this prophecy being completely made up so that way Khan has a reason to go to war with Earthrealm. But Sindel not wanting to go to war with Earthrealm without like an actual like something that proves the prophecy is real. And Khan's only proof is that when uh, when Liu Kang sends the gang to go see if what Shang Tsung is doing, he finds that he's curing Melina of Tarkatan disease. But they think that he's infecting her with Tarkatan disease. And then Shang Tsung lies, and then Black Quan Shi shows up. 
Oh yeah, Quanti is randomly black in this universe. So the gang are sent to Outworld Prison, in which Reptile is helping Shang Tsung, but not of his free will. See, actually, Reptile was actually a part of the circus, and Shang Tsung was intrigued by his shape-shifting ability. And so when Reptile said no to helping Shang Tsung, Shang Tsung basically held his family up for hostage, so he has to force to work for Shang Tsung. So after it's revealed that Shang Tsung killed his family anyways, he joins Earthrealm. Someone that also joins Earthrealm is Ashra, or Ashra. She was a part of the 3D era games. She's basically a demon from the nether realm that purifies her soul by killing demons. And she she becomes more human the more demons she kills. So all of them go to go stop Black Quan Chi until he starts a soul NATO in which Ermac is birthed and ew what did they do to my boy? After they stop the soul NATO, the souls go towards Quan Chi and then Quan Chi turns white. So he basically just pulled a Michael Jackson. So they capture Quan Chi instead of killing him they go to interrogate him and bring him to Liu Kang. But long story short they get found out and then they Quan Chi escapes and then they return to Earth Realm. They then tell Liu Kang about Quan Chi. Garrus and Liu Kang realize someone is interfering with the timeline to make Shang Tsung and Quan Chi powerful. So they send the Lin Kuei, Smoke, Scorpion, and Sub-Zero to the temple where Shang Tsung is at. Bihan becomes corrupted by Shang Tsung after Shang Tsung reveals his plan with the army. Then after Bihan's portrayal is revealed, Bihan reveals that he actually killed his dad so that way he could take over the Lin Kuei because he viewed his dad's views as wrong and that it was leading the Lin Kuei into a bad direction. Kuai Liang is very upset with this so he breaks free and heads to the escape. Scorpion and Smoke both quit the Lin Kuei to form a new one and the new clan they decide to reform the Shira Ryu. So Liu Kang enters Outworld after finding out that this Kronika is from a new timeline and Shang Tsung is becoming more powerful. So he tries to warn Queen Sindel, in which Li Mei joins Liu Kang because after Liu Kang tells her about the conspiracy between General Shao, Shang Tsung, and Quan Chi, Li Mei is not very much liked around Outworld because uh, King Jared was killed under her watch. So everyone does not like her for that. She quickly gets Sindel's respect back after she saves her from Melina's Tarkatan herpes. And after showing Shang Tsung is a traitor, and also telling her that he was the keeper of time at one point and explaining everything. They go to confront Shang Tsung at the Soul Stealer, in which after Melina gets to a scuffle with Ermac, he becomes King Jared again. Because King Jared's soul was a part of Ermac, and after Melina defeated him, Ermac became Jared. With King Jared being the original role of Outworld, with Sindel as his queen and Katana and Melina as his daughters. Now when they head towards the castle, it's found out that Kronika is actually Shang Tsung from the ending where Shang Tsung wins in World Combat 11. And his mission is to destroy this timeline. And then we get a callback with Evil Sundell being overpowered as fuck and killing the original Sundell of this timeline. Melina then beats up the old Sundell, thank you. And then we actually get like a bit of a sad scene where the nice Sundell actually dies. And then Melina becomes the queen of Outworld. They decide to make an army of good guys from the other timelines into an actual army to defeat Shang Tsung. And Lu's power as keeper of time is in the gift that the great Kung Lao gave to Liu Kang. In which we get a scene where Katana from his timeline comes back and it's actually a pretty cute scene. After he tries to gather Raiden and other people from a different timeline, Shang Tsung interrupts to try to destroy the hourglass but he fails. So after Liu Kang gathers a bunch of other people from other timelines, we get to choose who we get to pick in the final battle, in which I picked, uh, in which I picked a different timeline, Liu Kang. Now this battle is very much like a reference to Armageddon Shift. They even have the whole pyramid from that game in here. So after you beat Shang Tsung, everything goes back to normal. Ken Chi's in a good spot with getting his clan back together. Johnny's making a new movie. Raiden and Kung Lao are still training, and Liu Kang is still protector of Earthrealm. Everything's good. We then get a post-credit scene with Havoc, which if he's gonna be the boss in the next game i really hope that he build him up because let's be real in this game he kind of didn't really do much but overall i really like the story mode of this game i thought it was way better than mk11 Now, the only real complaint I have with MK1 is the lack of game modes, which could change over time with updates. The only thing we really have right now is online in this new invasion mode, which is kind of like a, a board game kind of layout where it's like you fight one round fights and then you progress through the story. Uh, and being honest, it gets really repetitive really fast, but this is the only way you can really like get skins besides the shrine and, and Comet League. 
The other way to unlock stuff is basically you have to play the character multiple times. It has this kind of battle pass layout where you once where once you get to a certain rank with a character, you unlock something for them. And the other other way of unlocking stuff is through the shrine where it's, you have to donate coins. It's kind of like the MK11 crypt in that way. But something that needs improvement is the customization because this is kind of a step down compared to MK11 because. MK11 you can actually do like a decent amount with stuff, but this in this customization you can only cust change one thing You get to pick one skin and one palette and you don't even get slots for it So you constantly have to change it MK11 had this issue But it's more so like more skins would be added and you wouldn't have enough character slots And this is kind of amplifying it in a way because you only have one skin slot again I hope this gets like more stuff gets patched into the game But right now it's just kind of really bare bones as of September 16 2023, but overall Overall, I really enjoyed like some aspects of the game like the story mode and the gameplay really grew on me over time I feel like this game is like way legions better than mk11 I really hope that it like like it like patches in more stuff like more game modes like more ways to unlock stuff But overall as a game, I think it's actually pretty good I feel like they're taking a step in the right direction when it comes to story mode because in the previous games It was kind of eh like, like, especially from the character writing and retcon standpoint, with some characters being completely changed from how they were before. Now, in the new MK1, they actually get away with this since it's kind of like a new timeline. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and bye! Great! You should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. What in the actual f